I need to make my comments less controversial. Doggies! What are we doing? Um, we're leaving the office that we spent all <laughs> we weekend. We spent all weekend in there. This is the worst vlog ever. <laughs> so, we've had a busy week because we've been trying to like catch up on everything. I mean, we haven't really done that <laughs> much stuff in terms of physical, which is why we've had made the worst vlog ever. In terms of week, physical, what do you mean? Like? I mean, in terms of like taking the vlog and going to do stuff, like oh, we've yeah. done a lot of work. We've been trying to catch back up with the channels. So we released um, two videos, so you should go watch yeah, them. We released, well, we released, yeah, two videos and- We're just doing so much work and we're just embarrassed because like the vlog is like gonna be short and boring. But look, we got flowers, we got a new candle. Ooh, we like, did laundry. <laughs> this is an exciting life. This is really normal. expensive organic milk that we're gonna fill up soon. <laughs> it's really, I mean, it's not so expensive, is it? No, it's like 60 okay. cents more. But. but, okay, well, what did you learn this week, Greg? Um, I learned that hard work and dedication um, means that you're gonna complete the goals that you wanna do, uh, but it doesn't make an exciting vlog. That's true, yeah. When we're <laughs> super busy. Well, we were super busy before, but it was all stuff that we could share because it was all like going to meet people and it was going to like launch the book in New York. So we were like constantly traveling, which was really exciting. This is the unglamorous part of our job and like YouTube that everyone's like, oh, it must be so cool. And they're like, yeah, I just sit at a computer all day. And it is really cool when you're like promoting a book and doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it is really cool what we're doing. It's just interesting that to know, I think a lot of people have ideas about what we do and it's just like literally. We look at a computer all day. Literally. <laughs> Literally. It's true. I, I'm sure everyone has experienced that where like everyone thinks something's really glamorous of what you do or something you've experienced where you can kind of always see the other side that like not everyone gets to and so this feels like that. Grass is always greener. Now you're kind of seeing how like actually yeah we spend all of our time. But I'm obsessed with whales so I'm about to take you on a tour of the whales. Oh yeah you should show them the whales. So we finally put things on our walls. We've been living in this house with our two roommates who we love, shout out peeps, to for about two years. And we finally put something on the wall and this is what it is. So it's the Eastern whales of Canada, many of which I have seen, including I've seen humpback whales mating in Ecuador. I've also seen them breaching and jumping in Iceland in um, Husavik, the whale watching capital of the world. I'm obsessed with whales. So these are all the whales in Eastern Canada. They're so beautiful. Look at the narwhal whale, so fascinating. Uses that to clip through ice. So anyways, this is a really great topic of conversation at parties. We debuted this for Mitch's birthday. Everyone was standing here. It was like a National Geographic episode in the party. Everyone was talking about what they do. So then there's that. Okay, so then this. These are fish, but my parents got them from Christmas last year. And they're like, look, they're whales. I'm like, they have gills. Those are fish. So bit of a fail, but we kept them anyways. <laughs> this is a beautiful wooden whale that our friend Rosie gave me and it's amazing and I love it. And this is actually a whale, mom and dad. It doesn't have gills. See this white thing? This is a whale. It's like you can put like flowers in the blowhole and then this is a tail. While I was not here during New Year's, our roommate Sarah threw a party and someone broke the tail, but they glued it together, which was really nice. So the tail is a bit broken. Okay, so this is our brand new bedding. Look! They're little whales. So there's pillows of whales, there's sheets of whales. So now there's whales that we sleep with. I officially have slept with the whale. Um, there's no whales in this room. <laughs> Greg, what did you break this time? <laughs> what did you break? Why are you acting sheepish like, though? Look at the whale bugs, but I knocked off all the chalk. <laughs> was the let's see what chalk. It was, oh wait, is there it's chalk all over our pillows? Yes, but so whatever. Oh my God. Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. There's chalk back there. We'll get that in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all the whales that we have in the house so far. But there's gonna be more to come because I'm slowly gonna design all One of, of our house. I know why Greg's filming here because he loves the light. <laughs> He'll always take <laughs> selfies at this window. I'm always like, where were you? Natural light. You, you look like a model. <laughs> my skin like you're like is so standing light. awkwardly with the camera at the window. And I can rest my hands here. Oh, sure, okay. oh my god, critical <laughs> cranny. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, there's no more whales in the house, but I'm slowly, and Mitch and our roommates don't know this, but I'm slowly gonna design the whole house after whales until it's like Pokemon. Pokemon. <gasps> What's the movie with the... What's the movie with the Disney movie with the guy that nose grows when he lies? Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> Soon it's gonna be like Pinocchio. We're all gonna be living in a whale. Oh my god. 
gosh. <laughs> Brain fart, if you wanna find out how those work, they are in our book, bang. Okay, so as we've said earlier, it's been a crazy busy week, and so we didn't really have that much time to vlog at all, because seriously, it's been insane. So it's now Friday afternoon, and we're gonna, I'm gonna take the vlog out on a walk in Toronto. So look at this cool um, graffiti. There's Sarah. We've <laughs> the whole thing of hiding there has like pretty much gone. You've been in like every vlog. She's a bit of a star now. Um, so um, this is what we're gonna do. And also, it's crazy because in Canada, everyone like it's not that warm. It's like six degrees, but everyone is out and about. That's not really that obvious. We're gonna show you more people. <laughs> like things are crazy. So, anyways, we're not wearing coats, even though it's six degrees, and we're gonna explore the tea that. Driving on the partition, please. Look at that partition by Beyonce. <laughs> also, in Canada, for reals, there's wood everywhere. There's just wood, people chopping wood, there's wood everywhere in Canada, because it's Canada. This literally happens in Canada. Oh, can you see them? There's people rollerblading. People are already starting their spring activities. Where are they? See them all? It's kind of <laughs> cute, though. <laughs> They're falling deeper and deeper in love, like us. <laughs> So the first part of my thesis about how Toronto lights up at six degrees is failed a little bit. This is an empty patio. Totally thought people were gonna be doing patio babies, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe we just aren't, you know, we're not like really in the coolest section yet. So maybe it's just empty because the food Wait, isn't that good. Until we get one street south. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna get wild. <laughs> it's really funny because I feel like everyone thinks I'm a tourist and it's awesome. We should be like, Best the nearest ball. Okay. <laughs> Look at them. Um, That's actually yeah. Uh, our parents. Mike, these are our parents, but after they died, we got them stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Taxidermy parents. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like the Austrian guy that won Eurovision. It does. Conchita. And I think it might be Conchita. That is the famous Lakeview restaurant where they film such movies as. Forrest oh, Gump. For, no, 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 wait, what are the movies? What are the movies? I have no idea. Um, what's the movie? Oh, Take This Waltz, which yeah. is an amazing Canadian movie with uh, Michelle Williams, where in that exact restaurant, he talks about what he's going to do to her, and it's oh, really yes, hot. Yes. Also, David Cronenberg loves to use that cafe. Yeah. Diner. Okay, so we just went to the cop, we're like, what happened? Because like, everything shut down. We're like, whoa. Like, we're like, oh, is there a bus? Did that bus crash? And then they're like, it was a parade. <laughs> and we were like, oh. And we're like, oh, what parade? That's weird. He was like, Good Friday. And we're like, oh, yeah. Oh. This is the new CN Tower. This is our generation CN Tower. It's the Drake store in Toronto. Can you get more Toronto iconic than this? Look at these nice pieces of clothing. And they're all made in Toronto by Drake, hand sewn. Go get your piece. Can't get it online. Here we have the sad ending of winter when the Canadian ice rinks slowly turn into skate parks. But before they're skate parks, <laughs> they are a desolate, sad scene. Look at those tipped over pylons. <laughs> <laughs> and as Sarah said, those are just puddles of little aspiring hockey players' tears. There's the other OVO symbol, and a group of people playing hacky sack or something. Sort of spring, not nearly as many people in this park as I thought. In two weeks, it's gonna be packed with many people playing. Oh look, but there's like a dog park and a stage. Sometimes Sarah and I re uh, do Shakespeare there. And <laughs> three people watch, but. Oh, I see, you know, people are playing frisbee, People over here are doing jump rope or something that the kids are doing these days. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but they all are ripped and like in tank tops, so I assume they're being physically active. And look at this, there's people going on around here. <laughs> Toronto is waking up to see the sunshine of the summer. The it's happening, patio, full patio. Look at that. This is where we're talking about. Six degree patio weather. The degrees are in Celsius because you're in Canada. This is Canadian art. It's Douglas Copeland. He's from Vancouver. He's also a novelist. What? Pretty cool. There's the scene tower as you saw it before, but this time it fell over. Drake took over. Sorry, CN Tower. These are beautiful and they kind of look like Group of Sevens, which is like another famous Canadian artist troupe, which I find quite boring, but this is like really cool. And know what's crazy? Like when you paint, like to get lines like that clean, like they taped it so well. Like I sometimes use tape and I'm like, it always gets messy because I'm yeah. so impatient. Like yeah. look at how well taped it is. Wow. And here's another one. Oh, this one's really nice. Wow. 
<laughs> this one's kind of cool too. These ones are cool, but I like the ones with color. Look at this, it's like a, wow. Oh, I guess it kind of looks like a power, like a pa the thing that these, the power grids. What? Like, you know, like the power grids in your highways? It looks yeah. like a melted one, kind of. Power grid is not the right word, though. I'll need to look that up. <laughs> look, we're playing The Sims. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna build a neighborhood. I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make the suburbs. Welcome to the suburbs. What's that arcade fire song? Also Canadian. Here's more Lego, Lego skyscrapers. It's kind of cool. In Canada, we have hockey players and seals. Not the singer seal. Oh, we have Crown Royal Are too. These only oh, that were like Canadian stuff in that Vancouver. Has. Yeah, I think it's Canadian stuff, and like there's also like all these like different types of food. There's even Mountie porn, because that's the only porn that Canadians want. Oh, Cheetos, yes. A very important part of Canadian culture. Oh yeah, Eaton's, like the Eaton Center, went out of business, sadly. Because something called Walmart came along. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're at Sweaty Betty's because it's raining outside. <laughs> People are still going out. And Sweaty Betty's is this bar. It's kind of cute and fun, and it's Drew Barrymore's favorite barn on in Toronto, apparently. <laughs> Probably in Ontario, too. Is, what is this little thing you're drinking? It's a Caesar. What is a Caesar? It's, it's a Canadian delicacy, so what is it? Um, What's in that? Tomato. <laughs> okay, so it's, to, oh, it's, clima it's clamato tomato. juice, Tabasco juice, Worcester sauce. Tabasco juice. <laughs> and, and what else? Um, pickles, and then this like celery salt, and wow, it's so good. It's kind of like a Buddy Mary, but better. Come up to Canada and try one. Whoa, buddy. Santa. Coolest dude. Coolest dude. Uh, uh, uh. What are we doing, Greg? Okay, we have the ugliest house as you've probably seen in our vlogs. So we're gonna get Lance. Oh! It's not that ugly. I just got electrocuted. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, I was like, that felt so just electrocuted. <gasps> oh my god. But our house isn't that ugly. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got electrocuted. That Wait, was turn so it weird. on. You didn't turn the lamp on. Oh shit. Ow! Why is it so bad? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just got electrocuted. That was so weird. How much is that little side table? Seventy-five. Oh well, it's kind of pricey. Okay, it doesn't really fit in, to be honest. The plug, and you will get electrocuted. <gasps> so nice. nice. And the song shine bright like a new lamp. <laughs> shine bright like it's a new good. Lamp. Through the woods, through the woods, through the darkness and the valleys, there is one and it's an evil, evil ride. So right there, there he is. We're going to burn him when we get there. It's the beast and he's in a castle where he resides. Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Where's your lantern? Kill the beast! Kill the beast! And then Gaston's like, what are you doing, beast? Let me have a little piece. And you're like, Gaston, you are so much scarier near the end of the movie. At the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, you're hot and your toes are really nice. You have a beautiful chest. And at the end, I'm like, you're a psychopath. Toes? 